There it is. A ute. I've never been in a ute before. I'm a YouTuber. Excuse me, do you mind if we chant? Chant? Are you football supporters? Actually, we're Buddhists. Oh, I had an American friend who was a Buddhist. He used to wear an orange outfit every day. What kind of Buddhist was he? Prison Buddhist. He said uh, Buddhism really helped him in prison. Yeah? How? He really changed on the inside. And did he manage to turn his life around? Yeah, not only did he turn his life around, but the life of thousands of other people. How was that? He became a ferry's wheel operator. To tell the truth, I've never really understood what a Buddhist is. A happy fat guy idly sitting over there with a smile on his big face? That's not Buddhism. <laughs> That's Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> Simply put, I guess, um, a Buddhist is an ordinary person who really shines. For my neighbor must be Buddhist. I've never seen such a shiny person. She glows with joy? No, she glows with jewelry. I'm sure she is a Buddhist though. Why? She is very reflective. Actually, she and her sister often go out together in those tiny little shiny things. In sequence? No, in random order. Actually, Buddhism is incredibly optimistic. We say winter always turns to spring. Really? My auntie was called Winter. She turned into a one-way street and wrote off her car. Hey, what's that on your mirror? That picture. Is that for the year of the pig? Ha! That's Auntie Winter. How about you? Do you have any spiritual views? From my kitchen window, I can see a church and a temple. Actually, when you chant, it's like observing your life in a mirror. While driving? That's a bit dangerous. So what did you do before you became an Uber driver? I worked as a clown at children's parties. Oh, and what's your clown name? Brown Nose the Clown. Why Brown Nose? I'm colorblind. So where else are you going today? A Buddhist meeting. Actually, what I really like about Buddhism is there are no rules. I can see you totally relate to that. How? By the way you drive. Ha! Thank you. A Buddhist with a sense of humor. Actually, we live in a field of possibilities. All sorts of energies are swarming around us. We used to live near a field of infinite mosquitoes. So why do you practice Buddhism? Because I need to be one with the universe. How about 1.30? The traffic is quite heavy. Hey, why don't you come to the Buddhist meeting? Really step out, take a risk. Nah, that's not for me. I'm an atheist. Isn't there something? A lifelong dream or wish or desire or something you thought was impossible that you want to fulfill? Well, it would be nice to have a girlfriend. I've been single for years. Then you should absolutely come to our meeting. Hello? Yeah? Oh, damn. What's the problem? It's today's meeting. None of the guys I invited are coming. Which means 20 hot single women. 20 hot single women? It's called Pashcam. Pashcam? Pretty amazingly single hot chicks after men. If you went to the meeting, you'd be the only guy there, surrounded by lovely women. What a pity. Okay, let's go to that meeting. What's this? You know how we said there'd be 20 hot chicks? What we meant was... There'd be 20 hot chickens. Do you prefer the legs or the breasts? And what part of the chicken do you like? The buns? I'm a vegetarian. <laughs>